So, where we last left off, stuff happened, I guess. Yeah, like, I, I feel really different right now. I feel like I'm not the same vampire I was off an hour ago. <laughs> we, we oh, you barely have changed. Had a, have had a religious experience. <laughs> we had a brief <laughs> stop at the hospital after our highway yeah. incident. And also, and I've uh, slightly altered my gimmick. In a way better way, I think. Mm-hmm. Taking sustained machine gun fire to the face for 20 minutes really, really helped turn my life around. (laughs) Gives you some perspective on what really matters. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Six Feet Under. Probably should have started with that. Yeah, that's it. Back to Panic of the Dojo Part 2. It has been a week since we last played. Our little break took a little longer than expected. And we're now using the actual official release that you can download from the Kickstarter that's up. Hooray! So all of us are going to completely misremember what we're actually able to do. Yeah, if you listen closely to the last session, a couple things were a little wrong from if you had the rules in front of you. And that was because they've changed slightly. For the better, it looks like. I think so. No, I just got to read this thing I wrote, like, in a fever dream four days ago. Oh, that, that's the best time to write anything. Yep. All right, this is the final showdown. Uh, there's the boss there. There's some H's you can put your guys on. Feel free to arrange yourself anywhere in that 3x3 three three square in the front of the door. So we should probably acknowledge the fact that we are... Someone died, or someone... Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that player left, by the way. Okay, um, for personal reasons, May will not be joining us. So, Red Shoes hijacked that helicopter and flew off into the sunset. You may recall Red's original goal was to get out of Dodge. And Michael Bay would be very proud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She basically won that fight. She gets to keep the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, so she decided to go off and have rad helicopter adventures. Well, it's a good thing everyone heals the full between every encounter. Otherwise, uh, Tigre at one hit point. Everyone else dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we ended that encounter. Just drag my dead body into this place. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good to drive. I mean, technically, you also had one hit point. You were just abandoned somewhere a mile back on the highway. (laughs) Also, Um, I am technically undead, thank you. Undead. Redead. Don't don't talk to me about redeads. I'm going to stay back here. Out of harm's way. (laughs) Probably smart. Uh, As this is a boss fight, and you're all fired up and angry about everything that happened last time, Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys actually get to pick a benefit. Oh. You're going to get a power-up for this fight. Okay. Each one of you gets to choose one of these three. You can choose the same one or whatever. It doesn't matter. You you all make this choice independently. First choice is you can add an extra D10 to the dice pool of every single one of your stances. So you just get an extra D10 every turn. Oh. Hmm. Second option... After rolling your numbers, increase all of them by two. All of your numbers are stronger. Okay. Or option three. At the end of each round, you get an extra turn where you change your stance, but you only roll two action dice, the first two of your stance, nothing else. Mm, we I'm going to go with plus two on everything. Okay. I'll also go for plus two on everything. That seems like the most reliable to guarantee something will happen yeah, each turn. I'm gonna go with that also. Everyone wants plus two to all of their numbers, and that's yeah. fair. You're finally here, the Black Fire Gang's hideout. A pair of intimidating looking goons guard the door, and next to them, the beat up face of Pompadour Rex. When he sees you coming, his eyes widen. He gives the guards a signal as you approach, then rushes inside. The guards let you in without a fight. The boss is waiting for you, they say. Just down the stairs, they say. You can't miss it, they say. They try to jump you after you enter, and you defeat them easily. Nobody else stops you on the way in. The bottom of the stairs opens into a grand chamber. The massive arched ceiling is supported by a dozen pillars spaced evenly around the room. Between the outer support pillars is a moat of coals with fires blazing between them. They are the only light within the shiny black room and orange and red flickers around you. Across the room is a large chair. 
A bored looking man with bright red hair and a dark red suit stares you down. So you're the ones who've caused me all this trouble over a little missed rent. Well, let's get to it then, he says, standing up. As he takes off his overcoat, his shoulders and arms burst into flames. Um... Oh. The final boss is here. Good luck. He has pyrokinesis. You haven't said his name yet, and that's really concerning to me. <laughs> it actually... Yeah, I didn't have him introduce himself. It's important. <laughs> yeah, okay. His name is Don Teanfuego. Thank you. Okay, there we go. That's it. I just want to make sure... Okay, it's a, it's been said. My, my <laughs> really bad pun that doesn't quite work has been said aloud. Now normally, how how this normally works is the heroes get the first turn. But not today. There is extra initiative slot at the beginning for the enemies. Oh, Oh. okay. Great. So, them, us, uh, the them, boss. us. And then they end the round. So they have two turns in a row? Yes, he has okay. four turns, while well, you guys only get three. Which Got is it. why you were getting that bonus, because you'll need it. Okay. Okay. I guess it's time to be set on fire a lot. Oh yeah, you'll be set extremely on fire. But first, he's setting himself on fire. He enters Inferno Star. At the beginning of his turn, he gains four burning tokens. He is now very on fire. Stop. No. <laughs> No. 4252. Two. Okay. Mm-hmm. His range is 1, 2, 3. You're all well out of that. Alright, so I guess um, first action we'll use the 2 to move 2 spaces. Then we will use the 4 action on Amplify. So his action can now target 2 extra targets. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, why did we stand in a line, guys? <laughs> <laughs> And as he rushes forward, fire. he launches a tornado of fire at all of you. Oh. He spends one burning token per target, so he only has one now. And all of you gain three burning tokens. I'm on fire. That each of us gets three? And yes. You're on fire, and I am on fire. But who's on fire? <laughs> Everyone's on fire, <laughs> including the boss. The answer to who's on fire is yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he still has a two left, so I will deal one damage to Tigre in the front, and you get an extra burning token when you get hit also. Hooray! Yikes. And that's the end of his turn. He spent all of his burning tokens, so he takes no damage from them. He gave them all to you. Who would like to go next? Let's see if I can do anything to fix this. I can purify, but I need a six to do that. Well, you did get a plus two in all your numbers. Yeah. So I might be able to, if I get enough numbers, I can purify all of us and get, uh, how many iron tokens would I get? Uh, one per burning token removed. Which means? Well, there are four, three, and three. So if you remove them from everyone, you'd have ten iron tokens. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> so would you like to take this turn? Then? I would like to roll. Uh, yeah. Just give our poor cleric a break. I'm good, I haven't been shot in the face yet. Yeah. You're just on fire. Yeah, we'll need you for later, so... Vampires are very good at setting things the opposite of on fire. The word you're Uh, looking for is extinguish. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) So you're entering Halcyon Storm Stance? I'm entering Halcyon Storm Stance. Alright, at the start of your turn, you may discard a token you hold and replace it with iron token. Jesus, okay. Just for free. Two tens, five, two, four, which means 12, 12, <laughs> 12, 12, seven, four, six. Yeah. So you got your three sixes. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I'm going to use those three to cleanse us all of our fire. I'm just going to, like, take my cape up behind my arms and just lap out the fire. Or, no, I'll just smother. I'll just smother everyone. That's rude. Well, no, he, the fire doesn't need oxygen, and judging by your skin tone, you're also a little oxygen deprived, so I don't think it'll make much of a difference. Congrats, and you're basically 10 extra hit points. <laughs> okay, so that leaves me with. Yeah, congrats that leaves you with a 12 health. and a 4. Okay, I have a 12 and a 4. Use that 4 to move and the 12 to punch him real hard. Yeah, I'm gonna use the 4 to move and the 12 to punch him real hard, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And. 
How much damage would a 12 do? A 12 is a 9 plus, which deals 5 damage and pushes 3 spaces. Let's do that. Push him into that rubble. Yeah. Behind him. Just yeah. slam him back into his chair. Yeah, slam him yeah. back into his chair, just to let you know. It's like a real sturdy force palm right to the chest. So a fire tornado gets launched forward. Truth rushes into it, dispels the whole thing, and just slams him back into his seat. Every morning I open palm slam a pyromancer into a chair. <laughs> uh, I guess that's back to me. Yep. Yep. Alright. He's going to enter Overwhelming Sun Stance at the start of his turn. He gains two power tokens. And then I roll some dice. 9, 10, 2, 4. Hmm. Hmm. Let's return the favor. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I, have, I have how much health? Uh, enough. Alright. One, two, we're gonna spend the four and the two on movement. Da -da -da, to move there. Because that's three spaces and two spaces. And then we're going to spend the nine on Yell. Oh. So he has seven power tokens. Okay. And then we're going to spend the ten on Queen to deal two damage to Tigre. And then also spend three power tokens on Tigre. So you take five damage and are pushed three spaces into a flaming pit of coals. And then that will also be two damage to Truth. Would you like to spend iron tokens? Yeah. Yeah. No Thanks damage well. to Truth. Okay. And then he still has four power tokens and his turn is over. I can fix this. Can you? I, I can fix this. Although if Tigre can move, she won't take damage from fire. Oh, to ask the question quickly, so... With my chaos, do my chaos tokens also get a plus two? Uh, no, it's still a four action. Okay. You can just spend, but you still could spend it at the end of any turn if you want to do something right now. I'm good. Oh wait. Yeah, I, I I can fix this immediately. I can make it so you don't take any damage. Tigre could also do that by just moving. So up to you, which one wants to go next, though. I can do it for free, just as a thing at the start of my turn. That's true. So, yeah. Dracul, it's up to you. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Would, would you like to move for free? Okay, I will yes. do Rallying Song Stance at the start of my turn. Uh, this has been changed since last time. Uh, yep, it's now the singer chooses one song yeah. benefit for everybody. Um, same same benefits, actually, no, because you've added moving at enemies one space, haven't you? Yes, you can also throw the enemies around a little if you want instead. Um, but I am choosing to let all allies move themselves one space. Okay, I'm good now. Alright. Okay. Uh, I got three, two, seven, three, which is not good, but I get an extra two. So that's five, yeah. four, nine, five. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Which, that's one encore. Or many power cords. Yeah, um, that's, that was kind of my plan, actually. Does anybody still have token, bad tokens on them? They, all the bad tokens are gone. Right, okay. For the moment. Actually, wait, no, I forgot. Don hands out fire tokens for free. Oh. They both have one fire token. Okay, so... Uh, I will use one of my fives on power cord to give Tigre the opportunity to either remove a token she holds, heal two, or move three spaces. What would you like to do? Uh, I'd take the heal, please. Okay. Alright. Two HP. I will save the other one for Truth, but he is comatose state at the moment. Apparently, yeah. So I have a 9 and a 5. Who would like an yeah. Encore? Uh, what's your range on this dance? Only 1. Because that 9 is 5 damage attack. Oh, if you want to punch true. him. I could punch him. <laughs> I could punch him. Yeah. You'd have to spend your 5 to get in there, but you can very much punch him. Yeah, okay. I will use my 5 to get in there, so... That can move you up to 3 spaces. Yeah, so yeah that'll do. I will punch the hell out of him. Alright, you also get to push him three spaces while dealing five damage. Um, it's a push, so you can move him anywhere as long as the spaces he moves to are farther away than the previous one. What about here? Can I smack him into a pillar? Yeah. You can also throw him into the fire pit if you want. I had considered that. But he's probably immune to fire. He is less immune than you'd like. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's... let's... If you will like allow there? him to, I will throw him into the fire. Okay. 
he is in the fire. And I think that's your turn, then. Yeah, ju just so this doesn't take forever, I did give a power cord to Truth, but when Clove gets back, yeah. you can decide what to do with yeah. that. Oh, um... Oh, hello. hello. Hi. <laughs> you got a free movement. Would you like to move one space? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna shuffle behind Tajra just to avoid whatever incoming damage, though. I guess I'm a tank right now. Aren't yeah, I? you kind of have double Taj's HP. I'm gonna move there then. Uh, but I also gave you a power card, so you can either remove a token you hold, heal two, or move three spaces. Well, I'm just gonna get right up in his face then. Yeah, keep him All right. there, because he's currently in a fire pit. And at that point, he's going to enter Phoenix Eternity Stance. Uh, at the start of his turn, he heals two HP. And also, while he's in the stance, whenever he takes damage from traps or burning tokens, he heals instead. God damn it. <laughs> I did trick you. Um, uh, so I have a quick question. Sure, what's up? Is the one our power tokens? Oh, that's your burning tokens. Burning, so the, okay. The red meter will be burning tokens. Um, green is HP and then... Blue, blue is, for truth, is iron tokens. Oh. Alright, so I rolled a 5-5-2-2-1. Five, five, two, two, uh, da 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 with that, with one of those fives, I will give truth. A, I'll use Cleansing Fire on Truth. You gain two burning tokens and are pushed two spaces into fire. You may spend iron tokens to prevent that many spaces of force movement if you'd like, but otherwise you're very in the fire. Kinda, yes. You'd have to spend two to prevent it. That is barely any of them. Alright. In that case, he'll be cleansing fire at you again, giving you another burning token and pushing you two more spaces, unless you spend two more iron tokens. I'm just gonna stand right here, thank you. Okay. Then with both of his twos, he's gonna punch you for one damage twice. Actually, three times, because I'm gonna spend the one on it. So, would you like to take three damage or just take iron tokens? I'm... it looks like I'm accumulating a lot of fire anyway, so... Did I can probably get... very on fire? I can get those back just fine. No worries. Alright, so are you losing HP iron tokens? Iron tokens. <laughs> okay. You're down to one from ten. You just did nine damage this turn. Yeah. And also handed you three burning tokens, so prepare to be very on fire. That's fine. Alright, Tigre's up. Alright. I'm going to enter my improvised hound stance. So, I, something I completely missed last time was that I get a power token at the start of every turn. Uh, that's new, actually. Oh, is it? You had a different ability before. Okay. You now, let's set your blue meter to power tokens, because you're going to gain a lot of those, probably. Yeah. I don't think you gain much iron. Yeah, no, I don't think I get any iron unless somebody else gives it to me. No. Okay, so when I get to... So our, my bonus was I add two to everything. Yep, and then you also still have your regular bonus of you can increase another one by two or increase two of them by one. Yeah. So your numbers are extremely solid, even if you roll bad like that. Yeah, so right now my numbers are, with the bonus, are three, three five, five, six, six five. five. And I can add two more, so I can do, let's see, I'll turn the six into an eight. Okay, and then you have to get up close, because your range is still only one. Yeah. Oh yeah, also at the end of Don's turn, he gained one HP, because he's standing in a fire pit. Oh right, I probably should have punched him out of that. <laughs> I can make it up here with a five. Can you? Hold on. Okay. Actually, since it's a basic movement action, it's six because I'm still in uh, song stance. Yeah, you would need six to get to that spot you're in right now, but you can get that from rallying song. Okay. We're all uh, good. Yep. Just that little boost of speed from Taja singing. I'm yep, singing so. Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... So is this is a trap, right? The fire? Yeah. Okay, so I'll deal an extra damage. I'm doing uh, eight, so I'm going to deal four damage plus one for the improvised style, plus uh, an extra one for the hound, so that's six damage. And I'm also... Uh, what are the numbers that you're spending on this, specifically? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so, well, first of all, can I also do... combine that with my weak point ability? Well, you spend actions of... in order, one at a time, on whatever you'd like. So, which what are you spending first? You spent the, I'm sorry, you got the so five to move here, so yeah. you still have an eight, a five, and a three. Eight, five, and three. Okay, I'll spend my second five 
to do a weak point attack. All right, that's two damage, ignoring all his bonuses. Okay, or well, three damage. Else, plus oh, one. So four total. Plus, uh, okay. Because of all your bonuses. Yeah, and then I will do uh, the eight on a normal attack. So that'll be four damage plus two for my two bonuses. And then I will do... I'll use my power token to get an extra damage. Okay. So that'll be seven damage and pushing him three spaces. Mm-hmm. Move him wherever you'd like him to be. Let's see. Can we just slam him into the wall? Right you here? could, yeah. Uh, he won't hit the wall. He'd stop at the wall. Okay. And then I still have a three... So I can use that to slide in to move two spaces, turn to space, yeah. And that will be uh, my turn. Okay. So the visual for my turn is I just ran across the room. Like I like to think that I like did a did a flip over the fire and just kicked him into the wall. Pretty much, yeah. It's not the first time I've been in an inferno match. And then in response, he just exudes a pressure that makes you all feel fear at the bottom of your spine. Uh, he enters pressure control stance. That sounds frightening. Yep. Everyone within range 1 through 5 gains a weakness token. Uh, Tajra is within range, but she's behind walls and cannot be targeted. So. Yay! <laughs> Alright, we'll spend that too to uh, move two spaces. Oh, hey, friends. Uh, we'll spend my six on apply pressure. Choose an adjacent enemy. Deal damage to them equal to the number of tokens they hold. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you just took six damage. Well, I think I know what I'm spending my iron tokens. <laughs> it's okay. My I one. can fix you. I can fix you. I can fix my dang self. All right. So that's still five more damage to your hit points. Dropping you to seven. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we will spend that eight to deal five damage to you because you now only have five tokens. Bye. Actually, no, wait. When he hit you with that first action, you gained a burning token. My bad. So now you're at one hit point and you're extremely on fire. So I'm gonna kindly request to. Oh, oh crap, wait, shit. You'll so spend my... a one to deal one damage to you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Dante. That's, that's the part where he does the big move and then like flicks your nose for the laugh. Pretty mm-hmm. much, yeah. Then uh, he'll spend that too to get out of the fire because he's not in Phoenix now. So much for being a tank. Hey, you took tank just, like twenty damage. Now I'm just a smoldering pile. <laughs> I can fix it. And that's the end of round one. And now it's his turn again. Yeah, it sure is. Oh no, okay. <laughs> he understands the problem. This this is a, this is a problem, okay. Uh, let's enter pressure control stance again, now that everyone is visible, so you all gain a second weakness token. Oh, except no. for... I only have one. Except for it's truth, actually, because you're unconscious. You can't be targeted by anything. Alright. Um, let's roll those dice again. 9, 1, 1, 1, 6. Okay. Well, I wanted to have him gain some control tokens to counterattack some of you guys, but uh, I need to roll threes for that, and I don't want to waste the six and the nine. Uh, so let's spend a one to move here, a one to move there, and then a nine to deal five damage to uh, Kajra and push her three spaces. Okay. And then we will spend the six to move one, two, three, four, and take one damage for running through fire. And then I want action to throw Tajra into the, or Tigre into the fire. Has fire done more damage to him than we have? Um, so. no. Okay. I did, I did a bunch of damage. Yeah, Tigre did like 11 damage, Tajra did 5, Truth did 5. He's taken most of his damage from you guys. Just in single big hits. Also, it's your guys' turn. I want to go first. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> it's okay. Which just means Taj has to go before you to pick yeah, him up. Yeah, it's okay. I can oh, fix him. The problem is I can go into vampire panic to pick myself back up, but I would immediately be burned back down to nothing. <laughs> yeah, you would. You would be extremely dead as soon as your turn ended. Okay, so I only get burned if I end my turn in the fire. 
Um, yes, if you end your turn in a tra- at the end of every turn you're in a trap space, you take one damage. So actually, at the end of Don's turn, you take one damage. Oh, okay. And then if you're still here at the end of your turn, you will take more damage. Okay. I'm going to open in Brawler Bear sti- uh, stance. So, that well, means... What a great pair of words. Brawling Bear stance. <laughs> Uh, I gain, because of this, I gain an extra power token at the start of my turn, so I have two power tokens. Yep. And you also heal two. Or, I remove a token from myself. Oh yeah, you can do that instead. I if remove... you want to remove the fire. Yeah, I'm gonna remove the, the weakness token. Oh, that makes sense too. Uh, you have two of those, but you can remove one of them. Okay. Seven, seven, four, seven. I'll yeah. One of the sevens into a nine, so I have... I need to get a note. Had, okay, <laughs> keep track of this. Nine seven seven four. I'll use the four to move out of the fire. Okay. You have like an extra three spaces of movement on that if you wanted to go anywhere else. Mm, or if you can stay there if you want, it doesn't matter too I'll much. Put, I'll put him between the fire and myself. Okay. Also, uh, now you can choose to heal one or move one extra space from Kadra. I assume you want the healing. Yeah, I'll put the, I'll put it on. So uh, I will now use my. Bear da- uh, bow down. Use one of my stones to do a bow down, so that'll give him a weakness token. Yep. Uh, weakness token. Since we haven't really covered them yet, it's when you deal damage with an act with anything. Um, it's reduced by two to a minimum of zero. Then you discard a weakness token. Mm-hmm. So the next time he deals damage, reduced by two. Okay. Then uh, I will, uh, and I can only use one power token per turn. Uh, per action. Per action, okay. However, you are you have such high numbers that you'll send him flying with any punch you do. Okay. Unless you can slam him into the wall, which there is a, there are some convenient walls around, but uh, he's not positioned to be thrown into them. Mm-hmm. I can do... I can give somebody two points of healing. Would that help anybody? That would get Truth back up. Do you want to come back up? Um, oh. if... I'm back up, I can filter everything back into iron tokens, but only I think he might just punch me again because I'm standing right here. <laughs> yeah, if, if I do it, at least you can take an action and get yourself out of there. Yeah, I'd wait for Tatra. Actually, I can... now I think about it, one second, to go to rewind one moment, I actually sabotage you, Tigray. If you went back, if you moved to your original spot you planned, you could just wail him with all these action trees back to a wall. Oh, well, he's still against a, tra- a trap, so... He's well, I mean, you can just punch body. him. You can keep pushing him into the wall, so you can hit him with your three huge numbers. Oh, okay, yeah. For that's damage, true. that's true. Yeah, let's do that. Because that's good. ten points of damage. You can just punch right out of this fucker. Minus well, two. Already... You have a weakness token. Yeah. Well, I've already. You... I've got two actions left. So, uh, what I'll do is. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because yeah, you did give him weakness token. Yep. Two more. A nine and a seven. Okay. So I'll do. So I've got two power tokens, two actions. Let's just wail on him. I'll do one attack for... That's a seven, so that's four damage. Plus one, plus one minus token. two, because your weakness token, which then gets discarded, so that's gone. So that's three damage. Yep. And then he's just against the smack into the wall. So then I'll do use my nine roll to do five damage, plus one for power token. For a six-point hit, just slam him. Yeah. Just clobber him into that wall as hard as you can go. Strong style, just like elbowing him in the jaw against the wall. Really hard hitting stuff here. Uh, <laughs> so, at the end of my turn, I can give him another weakness token, and that's it. Mm, now it's so. Now I, it's back to him. Yeah, this is gonna go well. I might die, but <laughs> you'll be. You can finish him off. Well, we have Tajra, and I have a very large pile of dice I can give to Tajra. That's, that's also that. true. Okay, now to the side. I think I want to use the Phoenix Eternity, actually. This is going to go really badly for one of us. It's her- what are you talking about? It's already gone terribly for me. I'm well, over here, my clothes are ruined. Here. True. At the start of his turn, he'll remove a token from himself with uh, Phoenix Eternity. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, good. I rolled some decent numbers. I'll spend a one to walk into the fire. Sure. Three, three, three. First three will be giving a... Oh, and also, Tigre, at the end of your turn, you took one damage and lost your burning token. Okay. They trigger at the end of the your turn. Only your turn. So. Okay. 
which is good. He's about to give you three, four, five total burning tokens. Okay. Mm-hmm. And also throw you into the fire while he's at it, just for free. Uh, he can throw you in the fire all the way over there. And with his last action, heals himself too. And he's done, and at the end of his turn, he heals one more, because he's in fire. Okay. You mean in fuego? Yeah, he is in fuego. Okay. Uh, what would you find more useful, guys? A power token, an iron token, movement, or moving the boss? I am uh, slumped over on the floor in pain. <laughs> yeah, it would only move Tigre. Also, at the end of the turn, Tigre took one damage from standing in a fire pile. Yeah, I need to be m- not in fire. Okay, or on so fire. so move one space. Okay. Okay, so I'll move a little closer to everything. Yeah. Okay. Hey, do, do, could you do anything with the four dice? I can give you one. I mean, I I can give a lot of encores. Yeah, this is two encores and then also a five and a three. Yeah. I mean, oh. like I could just give you another four, which you can use to do whatever. Taja, you know what I forgot? What'd you forget? At the end of your turn, you gained a two-point shield. Yes, I did. I always forget that. (laughs) I always forget the ridiculous bullshit that this character can do. (laughs) Okay, so I will give my first encore to Truth. Thank you. Uh, Heal two, take a five-point action. All right. Uh, Uh, The song is me, like wailing on an air guitar singing through the fire and the flames by dragon force do i have to stay on how Hal- do i have to stay on halcyon uh yeah you take the action in your current stance okay so i'm gonna so i saw the chaos token i might wanna mm... you can't spend it till the end of truth taja's turn by the way okay, okay. Cool. it's spent between turns got it but you're not gonna take this fire damage till your turn so you could still keep that yeah, I'm just gonna do uh, five damage. Use the five on damage to push Dante back. Oi. Okay. Yeah, and then when I get my four, when I when I can use my chaos token, I'll move away. Oi. Okay. Uh, Taja, right. you still have numbers. Yeah, I have one more on call. A three. Uh, no, that's a five and a three. So yep. I'm going to spend my three to give Tigre a power cord. Uh, do you want to remove a token, heal two, or move three spaces? I am about to give you an encore. Uh, remove a token? A token. One token. Yeah, just be one token. Okay, do these fire tokens, they, 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 so the fire tokens are one damage each? Yes, so at the end of your next turn you will take five damage if you still have all those tokens. Okay. Um, Keep in mind, I'm about to use my other six to give you an encore. So if you're near the guy, you can you have a lot more options. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. It might be better to just heal and then lo- and then do the encore, so I can just run at him and just try and finish him off. Okay. Let's uh, let, let's do it. And just power through the the burning. Yeah, so I'm going to use my three on a power cord and uh, my six on an encore. All right, so Tigre, you're going to heal two no matter what you choose there. Okay. I'm doing and then... all of this while vigorously air guitaring. Yeah, probably move three spaces back to Tayan and punch him. Yeah. Are you here? Yeah. Okay. okay and so how can... many how many tokens do I get to move for dice? Uh, you just take one five action. Yeah, you one take one. Five. Yeah, you take a five action to heal two. Okay, and I'm still. Am I still in the stance that I was? You're in? still in yeah. the same stance. So if you want to give him another weakness token, you can do that. If you want to heal two to yourself or truth or somebody, you can do that. Because you're in the bear stance. I'm gonna heal myself too. I'm just okay. sure I just. I'm just gonna let the fire tokens burn off and be ready to take him next turn. All right. Okay, and my second power card is going to go to Truth. Uh, You can heal two if you like. Um, Uh, um, Did you already Truth heal Truth? Do that on Truth already? No. Yeah. No. No, you did. That was the first thing you did. Yeah. Like, how am I back up if I? Your remaining action is a five, which is not enough to spend on another encore. No, I I don't mean an encore. I'm going to do another power card. Oh, a power card. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. 
Uh, yeah, so you can, can heal I... two or move three or remove a token. Your choice. I figured you'd mm-hmm. find the healing a bit more useful, though. Healing would be a bit more useful right now. Go for it. And I'm gonna heal. Alright, it's putting you at four hit points. Okay. Behind. You're hanging in there! <laughs> hanging in there. Keep on keeping it on. That's all I can do. Alright, well I can do a little more than that. Well, yeah. it's still... I can act now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you could take a four action yeah, right now. I'm gonna take that four action and get as far as away as possible. <laughs> Probably mm-hmm. smart. I'm gonna go here. Okay. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. That's, is that how numbers work? No, oh, three spaces. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you yeah. can go there. Hmm, that actually changes my mind. I was gonna go Inferno Star Stance and blow up both of you. I think Overwhelming Sun is the better choice now and just kill the shit out of uh, Tigre. He gains two Uh-oh. power tokens, which puts him at six power tokens. And now he's going to return the favor to do the exact same thing that uh, you did to him. <laughs> to slam you back into that wall behind you. Um, well, his first action is weakened. Slobber knocker over here. So it's, um, he's going to spend three power tokens on it. And lose his weakness token. So it only to deals six than... damage to you. How come he gets to spend three power tokens in one turn? Because uh, he's in power stance. It's, it's part of the form. And then he's going to spend his nine, and doesn't need to spend any more power tokens because that's five damage and takes you out. Oh, oh, that was probably a bad mistake that I made. That's okay. Live and learn. Standing on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. I'm uh, he's going to spend. <laughs> I hope one of the last thing I hear is to be a song. <laughs> As I die in the Oh, uh, he spends the one, <laughs> you burn spends fire, the three, high truth, what's up? Oh, hello. He still hello. has three power tokens and his turn is over. At least, does my fire go out at least? Uh, no, you're still extremely on fire. Oh. Okay, my turn then. Yup. Ooh. So I can stay in Halcyon and clear off all my fire, or I can vampire the shit out of him. He oh. still has 14 hit points to shoot through. He's I, as tough as either of you, combined. Well, okay, so Tajra's probably going to be able to take me back up if I inevitably just burn to the ground again. I I can pick up both of you, you're fine. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go Vampire Panic and just try to slam out as much health and just <laughs> try to take my way through it. Yeah. Uh, so, 3d4. For the record, problem. if we wipe here, I just would like to say, Tajra should have taken the extra turn to hand out more shields. Because yeah, I think... Uh, Oh fuck. We're both gonna, <laughs> we're both gonna well, those are all dead. increased by two. Yeah, it's still not great. You can still deal four life steals. Okay. When did I get an True. extra turn? No, no, you took the plus two to all your numbers. Oh yeah, I do. I would have taken the extra turn so you can hit out more shields. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do exactly that and do four life steals. <laughs> he has no armor or iron, so that is uh, four damage. Four damage, four weakness tokens, and four healing and four power tokens. <laughs> Um, and if you'd like, you could spend one of those in the last action to get an extra point of damage in and push him. Yeah, I might as well. So you heal four, putting you at eight hit points. Um, you also gain four power tokens. And I'm Write gonna... those down, I guess. Yeah, I am. Don't okay. worry about it. I'm going to burn back down to like two hit points, though. <laughs> and then Don has four weakness tokens. <laughs> Wait, shit, he can just cleanse all of those and heal himself. Yeah, but he uses up an no, action he doing that that he's not using it's... killing us. Oh, yeah, okay. it takes him a lot of actions to get rid of those. That'll drastically reduce his damage output. Um, and the truth, at the end of your turn, you take five damage. Yay. And lose one burning token, so you have four remaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> You're not, but okay. Uh, Inferno Star Stance. He could hand out so many more burning tokens, but it doesn't help him too much. Uh, that said, when he enters the stance, he gains four burning tokens. As we all remember, he does. And then he can do a bunch of stuff that doesn't deal damage and hands out burning tokens, but that doesn't kill you any faster than the burning tokens you already have. And I can just actually use those to keep me alive. <laughs> yes. So it's actually... You, ha- you kind of have him in a spot. His remaining stance here isn't helpful because of these weakness tokens. We did something, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Let's see, his range is 1 through 3. 
Um, so he'll spend that two to move down here. And then he can target both of you with his three damage actions for the turn. The first one deals one damage to both of you. Oh, wait, that removes a weakness token. It does nothing to either of you. <laughs> Second one deals three damage to both of you, reduced to one damage to both of you. You, you both take one hit point of damage, uh, which hits your shield, Tasha, and does nothing else. And then he spends his eight to deal three damage. Wait, how much is an eight worth again? An eight is worth four damage. Uh, which is reduced to two damage to both of you. Ah, dropping you to exactly zero hit points, truth. Mm. Okay. And that's all his actions for the turn. Which is um, fine. But he still has another weakness token. <laughs> he still has another turn. Oh god, I should have taken the other turn. Because <laughs> then Wait. you get to interrupt this. Uh, I have a four, but he's not in range. I could just bite my way back. <laughs> oh yeah, did you record your healing at the start of your turn from Vampire Panic? Because I didn't. Um... No, I didn't. You get two hit points, oh, though. I didn't. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> you're alive. You We're can gonna take your four out. action and bite him back to give him more weakness tokens before well, it's Well, no, time. I only have a range of one. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, don't you? Don't I? What a shame. What a shame. Well, uh, I could move. You could just you could move. run away. You could leave. What else could... You could store it for later with counterattack. Mm, I'm gonna move. Okay. I'm not sure if that yeah. helps, but... It might... Actually, you have two Chaos Tokens, because you've taken two turns Ice. this game. I spent one. Did you? Yeah, I pushed okay. him out of the trap Yeah, I pushed him you out did. of the trap You did, you correct. Yeah. Yep, you did do that. Oh, hey. I'm dying. Time to get owned again. <laughs> You're extremely dying. Woo! Nine hit points left on this guy. He's so scary. He's gonna turn in the favor. Pressure control. You all gain weakness token. Even no me? Problem, Not right? you. You're unconscious. Okay. Okay. I love pressure control. It's great. One d ten plus one d eight plus one d six plus two d four. I might need to actually improve the power of the buffs you guys get, at least in the three pop player game. Uh, Red would have made this a very different encounter. One, one, three, four, six. Well, on the upside, uh, he only rolled enough to deal one apply pressure. Okay. So he's gonna Hi. spend the one to move down to Tajra. Hey, sup? Hi. He's gonna spend one to deal one damage to you and give you a burning token. It uh, breaks your shield. Okay. Oh no. He's gonna spend that six to deal three damage to you because you only have three tokens. I can't believe Tajra might actually die. <laughs> Again. Then okay. I will spend that four to deal two damage to you. Okay. You're not very okay. I'm not okay. And then we'll spend his last number, a three, to uh, walk back to truth. Hey, what's up? Hey, hi. Oh, God. Uh, hero turn. Uh, can I go just so I can cleanse myself? Uh, you kind of have to, because you're... Yeah. I'm also no matter who anyone. goes, you're getting their dice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go. Because you oh, also need to change stance. I'm the only one here. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> oh. Uh, if you could deal uh, nine damage, you'll be fine. Quick question. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, did I... I didn't clear his burning tokens like a moron. He's at six hit points. Oh. I've got a question <laughs> real quick. Um, am I When I had my extra turn, did, did I uh, get a power token? I don't think so, but I also don't know if we've even removed the ones you have. Uh, it's, I spent both the ones I gained my last turn. But... Yeah, but you were also in Relentless style, so every time you dealt damage, you gained it back. Oh, so I would still have two. Yeah. Okay, well, I just remembered something I can do. Oh, yeah, duh. After I forgot every, about this thing. At any, after anyone's turn, I can get a two-point shield. By spending one power token, yeah. Yeah. Does that mean I can give myself... You won't be alive. <laughs> You're at two fake HP. So when you get back up, if someone heals You're you somehow, two fake HP. <laughs> you will have more hit points. But okay, okay. Um, let's see. So I have a a nine and eleven, a five, a three, and a a, a, a four. You can and kill a him. I can kill him. Just kill him. I'm just Please. gonna kill him. <laughs> also, I'd just like it to be noted that I died oh, singing oh. Live and Learn by Crush Party. <laughs> you sure did. Okay, so I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna have Spend to. Spend the it. one to move in. 
Well, I have to. I'm gonna try to like push him down one space and then move next to him and then just hammer him into the wall. <laughs> yeah, that seems smart. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're I'm in just, Halcyon stance or whatever. I'm in Halcyon. Uh, you could charge him. I was gonna charge him. Yeah. Well, wait. Does charge do knockback? Uh, it does not do any knockback. You get to circle around him and punch him from every side. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so <laughs> running around in circles. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just imagining like a vampire just running around this man who's on fire, just poking him in different places. Yeah. Oh God, we're yeah. trying. It's, it's the end of Blade Two. So one. Naruto versus Gara fight. So one two. Or that does Gara. two damage. Uh, one two. That does two damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, two. Oh, no. uh, what is this? That does two damage. Yeah, that's one damage, one damage, two. So that's four yeah. damage total. Um, so and then you still like, have all your other actions. Um, and then can I just like punch him? <laughs> yeah, you can just hit him with the nine for massive oh, damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch him. Oh, and then also a thing that somehow actually hasn't come up this whole time <laughs> that I thought would have. Uh, as you punch him through the fire, he takes one damage from it because he passes through a trap. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you can that, bounce people back and forth. He killed him with his own trap. <laughs> throughout that whole thing with Truth just running around him, punching him, you know that song in um, Deadly Premonition that's just a guy whistling with the kazoo? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining that in Taking the background. Best song. What I'm imagining is the movie version it will have like really bad Twilight style effects where it's just like fast motion running around. Uh, and then also, at the end of your turn, you take four damage and die. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody dies! Everybody's dead! Welcome to the Panic in the Dojo! I like the fights to be very tense. And close. <laughs> Is this the, 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 tragic, the tragic story? I think it's way more exciting this in way. The world of, in this the is world the second of... time it's happened, too, where, like, the last person standing has, like, is barely standing. Wait, I think if I had actually planned out my dice correctly, I could have survived, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, you, you could have spent one of those on Purify to give uh, yourself uh, a bunch of iron. I was so excited water. to kill him. <laughs> you took him down and then burned a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I guess... So... So, you only um, actually needed the 9 and the 3 to finish him. Yeah, you could have spent the 7 to purify yourself. I just like the fact that I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, now, now I picture the uh, the lower-ranking Mafia goons bursting in, and there's just four charred corpses in this room, and no Dawn left. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's that tr tr classical scenario, you know, where the, uh, the hero takes out the villain and then collapses immediately after. I guess, Dante, this really was a divine comedy. <laughs> this really was a Whoa. panic at the dojo. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you both into the ocean. <laughs> I uh, good night, night folks. I've been on fire all night. Oh, I love this game. Yeah. That's not really a good night, folks. Don't you mean throw me out of the ring? No, I'm just gonna throw you into the ocean. <laughs> oh, by the way, since you guys didn't do that, though you could have, if you had thrown him out, since he's a solo boss, he would just take three damage and come back on his next turn. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. I was considering him, like, throwing him out the window at some point, but I never got the I didn't realize yeah. I, Are there windows? There, thought... there, the door you came in, you can throw him back up the stairs. <laughs> throw him up the <laughs> stairs. Continue to fall down the throw... stairs. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kick him out of the room and you'll come back. Or if you broke any of these walls, like, everywhere outside of the map is edges and walls only have two hit points. Oh. So you can oh. slam him through the wall pretty easily, honestly. That's something I didn't know. Yep. Walls only have two hit points, by the way. Huh. Even, like, stone walls. Yep, all walls. It's, it's action movie physics. <laughs> yeah, everything is a crumble wall. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Yep. If it'll make props. the shot better, the wall will explode. Like, everything is made of, like, really flimsy, like, polystyrene. It's it's more like a a V eight an old VHS kung fu movie where like you punch something against the wall and the whole wall just shakes because it's a set. Yeah. Yep. Well, that went. You did it. That direction. was fun. And we got our we I guess we paid our rent. <laughs> in our <laughs> lives. <laughs> we don't need rent because we're dead. Because we all died except for our good friend 
the skater. Yeah, who is person who kind of got out of dodge before things went bad. Yeah, <laughs> doing ollies in heaven somewhere. So the rent still isn't paid. Hey, I don't We're know about you, dead. but being dead is pretty far for the course right now. Half the computers <laughs> in town are dead. The city is destroyed. Just the section of highway, yeah. one apartment, and we wrecked a mafia. highway and several, several semi trucks. That was just the one semi, actually. The local biker gang have been destroyed. The mafia has been torn apart. And the resulting uh, gap, uh, power gap will probably result in a, a city destroying gang war. Um, nobody just Pom no. Off. Pompadour shades will take power. Or Pom <laughs> yeah, Pompadour. Pompadour Rex. That coward. <laughs> can we? Can you please write that into the book as Don Pompadour? Is this <laughs> oh, oh, maybe, maybe actually that would rule. Okay, so that was Panic at the Dojo. Available now on Kickstarter. Check it out. Yeah. Thanks for playing. I had a great time running this. Yeah, um, that was very fun. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. And only I minor loss of life. <laughs> We, only 75% of the players died. The only reason the other 25% didn't die is because she wasn't here. The she only, flew away in a helicopter. The only winning move is to not play the game. <laughs> uh, good night, folks. Good, good night, night, internet. Good night. Good night.